Hi everybody, here we are, another week, our first full week with every student back on campus. So hallelujah, we've finally got to that stage again following all the COVID restrictions. Uh, so really glad to have that happening and have the students back again. It was just so good to know they're enjoying each other, enjoying the playground, enjoying uh, classes and uh, just the joy around the campus has, has been great. Um, so look, we've, um, we've got all sorts of bits and pieces happening. Uh, we have um, some changes as a result of the new COVID requirements. And so what, we've, what we have at the moment is Lynn working at home for half days. Uh, so she's working from home. And on the front desk, we have in the mornings, we have um, uh, Becca Lowe on Mondays to Wednesdays from 8.30 till 10.30. And we also have Bree Johnson on Thursdays, the same hours uh, from 8.30 to 10.30. So thank you so much to those two ladies for uh, the work you're doing to assist us through this time. Really, really great and much appreciated. Um, if you call, uh, uh, the school uh, with any questions and queries the ladies will be able to handle it on the front desk uh, it alternatively will go back to uh, Lynn Knight at home or in the afternoons it'll divert through to me so uh, that's how we're working through uh, those changes due to COVID we have Leah away at the moment and Emily Rowe uh, who's finished her all her training and been trained here at school uh, under Leah, uh, she's uh, working in the prep year one class. Uh, so that's a, a, a real bonus for us. So thanks so much, Emily, for being a part of us. And we want to see that just uh, uh, just to blossom and grow. Um, now, for uh, Alison's class, back to normal. That was great because it was split in two by the jigsaw puzzle of the COVID requirements as to half a class, the year three class could be back on certain days and the uh, year two class back uh, on different days. Thankfully, everyone's back at school now, as mentioned before. Uh, years four to six, uh, just comments from uh, Mrs. Kane. Viv has said, uh, the children seem to be very, very happy to be back uh, and lots of work Viv's doing uh, to bond with, uh, have the children bond with each other. Uh, she feels that the level of expectation, uh, uh, the higher standard of work has dropped in the children's minds. And she's working again to bring that expectation up for high quality uh, results. So uh, that's an issue that uh, Viv's looking at. She thinks that some of the children are rushing through their work and not working carefully as she has been training them. So. We just want to get the children back to normal routines, having had so many disturbances. We've had 262 days of lockdown and disturbed uh, classes. The beautiful thing I've been happy with about our school is that we've been able to maintain a constant flow of work uh, at home via the teachers and via uh, work on Canvas. So thank you very much to all of you at home and to our great staff. Just wonderful. Uh, talking with Jeff uh, Law uh, at the end of the day today, and he's happy. He feels that his class are uh, on time and on, on chime and working well. Uh, so that's a good thing. So maybe as they get older into that secondary routine, uh, it's uh, the children seem to be easier to get, find it easier to get back into that work. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, look, today um, we had our final inspection of the, the new buildings. Um, so hopefully next week we'll get a certificate for occupancy. So finally, the job is done. We still have uh, some landscaping to do and we need those safety fences down. But ultimately we have a tick in the box from the inspectors for the building. So that's really wonderful. At this point in time, uh, we're so far into the term and Christmas is coming that we're looking at really at, at probably not upsetting the campus by 
lifting up classes and moving them to new buildings will keep everything steady and stable um, and uh, so we'll be looking at occupying those new classrooms as new classes for next year under Sam uh, Sam Woods our uh, new principal so uh, that's something to look forward to and we just want to keep routine going I mean imagine further disruptions if we had to lift up classes and carry them to new locations and people wondered where their books were and all that sort of disturbance. So because we're so close to the end of the year, I think that's probably the best way to go at the moment. Um, now, a couple of announcements, uh, immediate announcements is uh, we, unlike most of the schools in uh, Benalla, we have normal school Monday, normal school on Monday. Now, the public uh, school buses are not running. Uh, because most of the schools are having an extended weekend, but we just think we just need to get back to work, back to school, back to lessons. So normal school this Monday, and then of course the disturbance, Melbourne Cup Tuesday, so Melbourne Cup holiday. So that's a public holiday. Okay, the good news, uh, week five, okay, that's coming up very quickly, running at us, quite frankly, uh, week five, we have our photos, so just be aware of that. That will be on uh, Friday, the 5th of November. So please make sure everyone complies with the um, uniform requirements. Lynn's laid that out for you, sent notes home. So keep that uh, in mind for uh, Friday, the 5th of November. And uh, one of the good things about the COVID changes is at least Photographers are now allowed on site, so that's a good thing. Week six coming up, and we'll give you further notices about it. We've got our prep transition from Smart Play through into the prep class. So that will be Tuesday, the 9th of November, transition one, transition two will be the next week on the 16th of November, and transition three on the 23rd. So um, so just keep those uh, dates in mind. If you have somebody in Smart Play, four-year-old kinder, they'll be transitioned up. First one is Tuesday, the 9th of November. Now, Remembrance Day is Thursday in week six. That's Thursday, the 11th of the 11th. And we have students who are chosen to represent the school to lay wreaths at the uh, Cenotaph um, we just need to work out whether it will go forward, go ahead uh, under COVID restrictions. But uh, that's we have the students chosen for that. OK. All right. Well, it's just great to be back and, and uh, school happening again. We will finish well. We'll finish strong and we will. Um, yeah, we're nearly at the end of the year. It's what a year it's been. Anyway, that's enough from me. God bless and bye for now.